Hey guys, welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! budget video. My name is Richie and in this video I'm going to be talking about some of the cards that you should definitely get right now because they're super super cheap. As a budget duelist you have to look out for these amazing deals or these amazing price when they just come out so you can capitalize on it, get the cards for really cheap so you can have them when they go back up in price. I don't know if they're going to go back up in price but you don't really want to wait until that happens so I suggest that you get the cards right now. So the recent pack, the 25th anniversary rarity collection, gave us a good amount of good cards that were reprinted, and I suggest that you, you know, get these cards right now. So right now, I'm on TCG Player, and I'm going to be showing you guys a few cards that you should definitely get right now. So starting off, we're talking about Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom is not that cheap, um, but I think you should get it because it is a the most used hand traps in the game right now. It's a very good card, so you can get it for about four ninety nine. Don't watch the shipping. The shipping is because I haven't signed into the site because I don't really use TCG Player, but a lot of you guys are from the United States. I use Troll and Toad and Yu Gi Oh Mint. Those um, sites the cards in one package and ship it to me in jamaica if i were to buy from tcg player it would be in multiple packages and then when it comes to customs i'd have to pay for each of those shipping so it's best to do one package under 50 bucks from troll and toad or yugi mint so i don't really use tcg player unless i can get all the cards from one vendor so again the first card that you should get definitely get is ash blossom it's going to cost you about 12 dollars plus shipping to get the uh, three of them a play set Lightning Storm is a very powerful card. I know there is alternative like Regeki, but Lightning Storm is pretty strong as well because it destroys every monster in attack and also destroys every spell and trap card on your opponent's side of the field. So this is a very powerful card and it only costs you $2. So if you get three of them, you're going to only um, be charged $6. It's super rare. Yeah, so definitely check that out. The other one is Baron de Fleur. This card was pretty expensive a couple weeks ago, but check it out now. It's literally $2.05. That, that is absolutely crazy. So you can get a play set of this card if you want for like $6. You're going to be buying a super rare card. It's pretty crazy. No lie, I, I cop one of these as soon as I saw it. It's unbelievable that this card, I think it was at like 30 or 40 or 60 dollars the last time I saw it. And now it's at $2.00. I really suggest that you guys go and get this thing. Even if you're not going to use it, you can just keep three of them because it's really, really cheap. Out of Prosperity is another card that I really wanted to get for my Flounderies, and I'm finally able to get them, but I only bought two because uh, $7, or I bought it for $8.50 from Yu-Gi-Oh! Mint, but that's still pretty expensive for a budget duelist. But yeah, I bought two of them because it's way cheaper than it was a few weeks ago so i definitely got it so if you're buying three of them you can get them for like 18 14 20 21 dollars from uh, yugioh mint you're gonna get a super rare card um i don't know if there's cheaper ones on here you can check you might find cheaper ones but yeah you should definitely get your hands on some prosperity because we don't know if they're gonna go back up in price in the Evenly Match is another good card. It is now at $1.25. You can get three of them for like $3.75, which is pretty cheap. And it's a very broken card. If you don't know what Evenly does, you should not be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Next one is Triple Tactics Talents. I got one of this. I think I should have gotten two because this is a pretty strong card. Um, it allows you to draw two cards or take control of your opponent, one of your opponent cards until the end phase. It's a very good card. It's for my floor underies, and I think this card is going to really help me in the deck. I want to get triple uh, tactics thrust, but I don't have $89 right now. So I'm waiting until it gets cheap. So I can, you know, get one of those. Another card that you should get is impermanence. I don't know if there's cheaper versions of impermanence, but it's a pretty solid card. I think if you're going to buy it, I mean, you could buy the, uh, is it the cyber dragon structure deck and you can get them, but uh, five dollars i mean four dollars 75 is pretty solid so you should you know check that out another card is nibiru nib is a strong card it's broken against a lot of special summons deck it's a crazy card and it's only one dollar 35 so if you get three of them you're gonna pay like three dollars or four dollars something and this, this is a pretty broken card it's one of the best hand shops out there i mean a lot of persons don't really use this anymore but for $1.35 and you can get three of them uh, really easy, I think you guys should definitely, you know, get them super rare. You're going to have it. You can put it in your binder or whatever. It's, it's a very good card. 
Sphere Mode. Sphere Mode is a good card as well. I wanted to get like about two of them, but I only got one. But yes, yeah, Sphere Mode is a good card to play in my flow under is. It allows me to tribute three of my opponent's um monsters. So if I'm going up a deck, uh, going up against a deck that is pretty fast paced that summons out a lot of monsters, I can side this in in my you know going second, going first. It must if I lose. So yeah, this is a very very good card for my deck at least. But yeah, it's only two dollars so i think it's a, a cheap card you can go for effect veiler effect veilers are really cheap but this one is super rare so if you want to get effect veiler you can again it's another good hand trap we have a dark ruler no more for one dollar super rare another good card that helps you go second <laughs> there's another one for 47 cents which is absolutely crazy so you guys can get this card for 47 cents which is which is pretty strong. Burload Savage Dragon. I've always wanted to have this card for my six samurais, but I've never had the opportunity. But finally, I got one, and I got it for like one dollar, one dollar from Yu Gi Oh Min. So that was crazy. I'm pretty, I'm pretty psyched about it. Now I can, you know, use that in my uh, six samurais and get one for like sixty six cents, fifty cents. Ah, these cards are pretty cheap again you guys should definitely get them even if you're not going to use them they are really really cheap next one on the list we have summon limit summon limit is a very broken card i didn't know that summon limits worked even if the card is face down so if your opponent summon three monsters and you have summon limit face down and then you activate it they won't be able to summon any more monsters because summon limit works from the start of the turn even if the card is not activated so this card is pretty solid if you're building a anti-meta deck like me i love this deck you have to have three of this card another card that you can get is alpha the master of beasts this card is pretty solid you you know it's a compulsory um if you have if you're playing with wing beast or a beast war monster it Compulses more card depending on the amount that you wing beast monster or beast monster you have on the field so it's a good card so it's only for a dollar so you can definitely get this card and you're getting it in a super rare so yeah and pretty much those are the cards that i think you should get right now i might make another video and showing you guys some other cheap cards that i definitely think you guys should get before they increase in price if you're going to increase i don't know but i don't think you should wait if you're a budget doulas like myself get these cards right now so you can build awesome decks